News. I am Whitney Jukes. Today's top story is litter crisis at West Park Secondary School. With more on the story, we are going live with Candace Palenko, live on site. Thanks, Whitney. I am live at West Park Secondary School, where we are showing scenes of the lunchtime litter crisis at the school. I am walking through the hallways on a typical day I, here at the school. You can see for yourself the incredible mess that they have left behind. Yes, Candace, we can see the horrible conditions that the students and faculty are constantly putting up with. How do they feel about it? I am now he here with the student, Jade Winterbottom. So, Jade, how do you feel about the lunchtime litter crisis at, here at West Park? I think it's really sad that the students at West Park have no respect for their school. I'm pretty sure they don't act that way at home. It seems as though a few individuals are making life more difficult for students there. What do the faculty think? Well, Whitney, I am here with Bill, a representative of the custodial staff. Bill, what are your thoughts on this lunchtime litter crisis? Uh, thank you for that question because I see the, the litter in the halls is a problem after lunch. Uh, we've asked for certain things to be done, but it's not really up to us, so it's, it is extra work for us, but hopefully there will be a second lunch next year or new cafeteria tables so everyone can fit in the cafeteria. This would help. What are your some suggestions that you may have for the students? Suggestions for students would be please use the cans available instead of the floor. You wouldn't be throwing food around at home like that, so we don't appreciate it here. There are enough cans available for the garbage. And that would be respectful to everyone in the building. Thank you, Bill. Now I have another student with me, Brittany Nautrat to tell us her perspective on this issue. I think this lunchtime litter crisis is tragic. It's terrible. I mean, I can't walk down the hall without slipping on something or getting something stuck to my shoe. It's terrible. People are slipping on banana peels everywhere. Thanks, Candace. Now over to our next story. There is a clash of protesters at West Park. <laughs> A class of of actual and pro recycle demonstrators what more on this story will now turn it over to Kansas Parental Rob Archer! Thanks, Akbar. I am live here live at West Park Secondary School, where as you can see in the background are, there are a number of people out to voice their opinions on this hot topic of recycling. To my right are the anti-recycling protesters who claim to be sick and tired of being forced to recycle. We don't care, we don't care, Many of them believe that it doesn't make a difference and they should have the right to do whatever they please with their garbage. To my left are the pro-recycling demonstrators who want to keep the recycling intact. Recycle! Recycle! Keep our earth green! They are pushing, the, pushing to expand their school's program and in heightened awareness. Earlier, I had a chance to speak with a few of the protesters on their options on this hot debate. The whole recycling program is a big waste of time. It doesn't make a difference. We shouldn't be pressured into doing this. My children, why did it recycle? Why should I? I understand why people are so going to recycle and it doesn't take good effort to drop a piece of paper in a blue bin or to take a few extra steps to put your plastics in a blue bin. I think people are just lazy. 
You know, the funny thing is that most people protesting against recycling have clothing or use products with recycled materials, and they're totally unaware of it. I think that we should learn more about recycling in school so we can better understand how important this issue truly is. It will be interesting to see how this issue is resolved. Live at West Park, this is Candace Polanco representing Earth News. Now back to you, Whitney. Thanks, Candace. Next, our Canadian correspondent, Sarah Uprose, had a chance oh. to sit down and interview world-renowned environmentalist and Canadian hero, David Suzaki. Hello, David. Thank you for sharing some of your time. Hello, Sarah. It's always a pleasure to visit you here at Earth News. David, over the past few years, recycling has become a very hot political issue. Yes, it has. In your opinion, why is recycling so important? It helps to conserve our country's most valuable assets, our resources, and it helps to reduce waste that we put into the landfills, so it protects the environment as well. So that, so that plastic water bottle that I use, does it get used again? Well, Sarah, plastic is an oil byproduct, and oil is a non-sustainable resource. What do you mean by non-sustainable resource? <laughs> It is a development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future gener generations to meet our needs. Oil could eventually run out if we, do not, if we do not take the measures to conserve this valuable resource. David, thank you for sharing some of your time and this will sh shed some light for our viewers. Now back to you Whitney. Thank you Sarah and David. Don't go away, we'll be right back after a few messages. Yeah. 